Hi, beautiful. How you doing? Oh, look at you. You look hot. We're talking about cap highlights, which is something that I frequently did when I was younger. When I was about eight years old, my dad would like put a cap on me, pull the hair through and do highlights. And I thought it was the coolest thing ever. I loved it. I loved everything about it. And then I found out what foils were and then I moved on from cap highlights and never looked back. I've also been seeing a lot of cap highlights being done by professional hairstylists on social media lately. And I'm like, what is going on? Are we back in the cap highlight era? Sometimes things are a little bit too much for me. Cap highlights, I don't trust them. All right, but I'm open. I'm open to new things. I love trying new things. I wanna see what goes on today in these videos with this cap highlights. I wanna see if maybe like I should go back to the cap highlight phase of my life. Who really knows? Honestly, anything could happen today, but we're gonna watch a couple girls do some cap highlights on their hair and see how it turns out. Um, also, have a giveaway going on. Today is probably the last day you can enter. I'll be announcing the giveaway winner on September 22nd. And if you guys would like to get a Mondo makeover by me, be flown out here, stay in a hotel, get my channel, everything like that, get your hair and did, I'm gonna be picking one of you to get that done. And all you gotta do is show your love for my brand, X Mondo, on social media. Do whatever you need to do. Just show your love, support, anything. And make sure you follow X Mondo on Instagram. And that's basically it. So just show your love, harass me, harass my brand on Instagram and Twitter, spread the word about X Mondo. And that's all you gotta do to be entered and hashtag xmondo hashtag mondo makeovers in order to be officially entered hashtag that and whatever you end up instagramming or tweeting or whatever you decide to do hope that made sense okay great um and if that didn't make sense it'll all be written below for you all right let's watch some girls do some cap highlights i'm scared let's get it started <laughs> Our first video is by Brittany Ann, and it's called Pull Through Cap Highlights, DIY Fail. Hey guys, it's me again. Today, I'm going to be bleaching my hair. So I don't trust myself to do my whole head, so today's just gonna be highlights. That should be interesting to see how it turns out. I like the color she's working with. I like what's going on here, it's very cute. All she really needs is a few more highlights, some face framing highlights, just a little something to brighten her up a little bit in the front, a little bit up here. But what she has going on is so cute, and I'm really actually into it, so. Hopefully she doesn't screw it up. <laughs> I've gone to salons before and I've had professionally done highlights okay. and stuff like that, but it never turns out like bright blonde as I want. I would make you so blonde. You would step out of that salon being like, <laughs> I am the sunlight. The sunlight is me. So since I am a cheap person, today I'm trying something different. But yeah, this one, <sighs> the... Feria. <laughs> it's the Feria. It's supposed to be like a platinum blonde. And again, I'm not doing my whole head. I'm just doing highlights with one of those highlighting pull-through cap things because I'm not fancy enough for that foil stuff because I don't know how to work that. Shimmering Light Lightning Cream. Anti-brass conditioner. This is the Anti-brass. And the powder. The shimmering bleaching powder. Well, I'm glad we're using bleach and we're not using um, color because she has pre- Existing color on her hair, and guess what, you guys? Guess what? Color doesn't lift color. Whoa! I've never said that before. Oh my god. Uh. Okay, so I just opened up the package thing that I bought from Sally's for this. It's like a highlighting cap, right? And this looks horrifying. Up, not realizing. <laughs> I thought this was like the visor. Like it goes like that. <laughs> Is it not? <laughs> Yes! Uh, oh my god, I need to wear one of these out to the club. Bitch, I'd look fierce, I'm sorry, but if anybody says differently, I will disagree with you. I would look fierce in a cap highlighting cap thing. I thought it was that one. But then I looked at the picture again, and it's just got this little flap right here for underneath the neck. Oh! Oh my god, I always put it on backwards then. Wow, good for you looking at the pictures in the directions. I see you. Brittany. Okay, so we are brushing. You gotta make sure that your hair is mm, very nicely parted and brushed underneath the cap down. highlight or else it really won't come out the way you want it to. Oh, I love her hair. It's really pretty. So basically you just go through in these little holes and stuff. I'm gonna do every little hole that I can find. Either way, it's highlighting. Um, if it does mess up, then at least it's not my whole head, right? I mean, I guess. <laughs> okay, so this is what happens. If you've never seen a cap highlight before, pull the hair through the 
pulls. It's so weird. You pull the hair with a crocheting hook through the holes in the cap, okay? And let me just explain to you why this is so scary to me. And if you haven't already realized why, how do you know where you're pulling from? on the head. How do you know that you're getting the front pieces if you want the front pieces light? How do you know if you're getting the side pieces? How do you know if you're getting what, 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 what? You don't. You don't have no idea. You have no control over where the highlights go. I mean, very little control. You know you're on the side of your head when you pick out a hair on the side of your head, but you don't know where that hair is. You could be taking hair from the same spot twice. There's no way of knowing where you're pulling this hair from. And that is why cap highlights don't really exist anymore um, within the salon. It's the least precise way of doing highlights and you're gonna get random highlights wherever and if you're into the random highlight look go for it otherwise don't go for it and see. So now, I feel like this won't be that bad on her because she already has blonde hair so I don't think it's gonna be like tragic um but somebody on with dark hair doing this I would be like mm then the bleach. Yes! And she's bleaching her ends again, even though they are already plenty bleached. She did not need to redo those ends with more bleach. She already has light ends. Put down the bleach, Brittany. I supposed to wait like 20, 30 minutes, whatever. I didn't keep track of time. So we're just gonna look at it Why wouldn't and uh, see how it turns out. And when I get scared of how light it is, ah. that's when I'll rinse it out. Honestly though, that's how I bleach my hair. I wait like 45 minutes and I'm like, yeah, it's gonna fall out soon. So that's perfect. Let's take it off now. Ah! <laughs> ah! It's getting light. Ah! Oh, so Wash it off. Yeah. All right, do another check-in. See how ah! it's turning out. Probably do about another, I don't know, five minutes or so. Ah, and she's really pushing it. She's got balls. I like that. Honestly though, she should keep pushing it. It can get lighter for sure. Honestly, when the bleach is on your hair, if you want really bright white highlights, when the bleach is on your hair, it should look literally white before you wash it off. If you have any bit of yellow in there, don't wash it off. Because when it looks white and you rinse it off, usually there is still yellow there. And when it is yellow with the bleach on and you rinse it off, it's like orange. So just give it a few. Okay, so I think it's time to rinse it out because it's looking pretty white right now and I am worried. It's so <gasps> white. That's a lot of hair she lightened, yo. That's, mm, I'm so excited. that's kind of, yeah, actually kind of nice. That is wild. What? <laughs> Why didn't she do her front hairline? This is <gasps> the final look, I guess. And um, I f oop. Why does it look kind of good? <laughs> I know I should be happy that it looks good, but now I'm getting worried all of you out there are gonna get some ideas. It's not a good idea. Nope. It looks a lot brighter than it was. It actually looks really I'm pretty. It. it gives my hair some dimension again. There are some spots that are like... Dark. Like cheetah print. Yeah. So when I had the cap on and stuff like that, and towards the end, I had just dumped a load of that uh, developer cream or whatever in my hand, and then just started uh, like that's great. putting it all over my head because and it I had through the so cracks. much left over, and I was like, okay, well, I gotta use it, you know. No, nope, so you don't. Pretty much, I pushed the developer cream through the holes in the cap, so there's like little dots where those. Oh, nice, Brittany. Nice. Smart. Would I know that she did this at home? Maybe not. Would I look at it close up? Would I know that she did it at home? Yeah. I mean, if you go to a skilled hairdresser, you're gonna get some really nice, nice foils that no matter where you part it, it is going to be perfectly symmetrical, even, perfectly placed. You're gonna have really nice pieces in the front that accentuate your face, your skin tone. It'll make you look so stunning. I'm gonna give it to Brittany today. I mean, she... She really pulled it together. This is some of the best at-home highlights I've ever seen. I don't know what else to do, like. <sighs> you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. That's it. All right, our next video is by Deandra Nunnery. This is DIY highlights using a cap, Revlon Frost, and Glow Highlighting Kit. Woo! I have done a highlighting video before. It was like my second video that I ever did. Yo, she has dark hair. She's about to use a frosting cap. That sounds 
sketchy, which I'm here for, woo! This kit looks sketchy as hell too. I'm going to put the cap on, pull the strands of hair out, and then highlight my hair. I do kind of want a balladon I'm scared. effect though, so I don't want the highlights to go all the way to the root like hers huh? do. Typically, I will just let it sit for 20 minutes, and if it doesn't pick up the actual bleach, because sometimes my hair doesn't, then I go in with some heat, like a blow dryer, and it tends to help process the highlights a little bit better. I am not a professional. I have never gone to school for this. I am just showing you how I do it at home. First, I am going to brush out my hair and make sure there's no knot. By the way, if you have curly hair, please, please don't try this. Please don't try this. Do you think I've tried this? Hell to the f No, I haven't. No, mm -mm. I, no. Girl, she has jet black, no, not really jet black hair, but like very dark brown hair. Putting highlights in this hair is going to be a task. I don't know if she has pre-existing color in her hair or what's going on if she has virgin hair. We may never know, but it should be interesting. In the video that I watch, uh -huh. that I'm linking for y'all below, it was an actual like cosmetology instructor teaching a class on how to do it. So I'm gonna go by that. Okay. Hopefully it works out for me, but what she said to do as far as applying the cap, said uh -huh. to brush the hair back. Yes. And then apply the cap with the hair pulled back. This cap shows you where the back is, the crown. I wonder why you would keep it pulled back. Well, I guess that makes sense, because you're like sticking the needle in and pulling from sections. You don't want your hair to be parted because you're gonna keep on pulling the same section. Again, does it look like I know? Now that I got my cap on, I am going to start pulling my hair out. So that's a, the tiniest little piece of hair. Like I said, this is my first time doing it, so. That looks so hard. Yo, those are the tiniest little highlights I've ever seen in my life. You gotta get more hair out than that. Oh my God, you're gonna have like little tiny specks of highlights at this rate. Maybe that's what she's going for. I don't know what she's going for, man. Listen, I'm not judging. I'm just getting a moisture change. Now she's getting all that hair out. Now she's going really, really a lot. Yo, this looks mad stressful. Like I'm watching this and I'm like, dude, I'm stressed. Like I'm not even there and I'm like. It's going a lot faster and easier for me. So with this part, just kind of take your time and make sure that you're getting all the hair that you want out. By taking your time, the results are gonna be better. I wanna know how she got the back of her head. That's really the only thing I'm trying to figure out here. If somebody can let me know, I would love to know. <laughs> okay, now we are mixing up that bleach and I'm happy it's bleach again, it's not color. No idea what developer it is because box size don't tell you what developer it is. That's the sketchy part about it. You don't know what the hell you are putting on your hair. You are putting a one size fits all bleach on your hair and that's not how bleach works. It is not a one size fits all kind of moment. Nothing really is in life. I don't know if you noticed that, but there's not many things that are one size fit all. fits all. I'm going to clip up each section. So taking all the hair that I This is gonna go so through, bad, I already I'm know it. it back and I'm gonna tie it with a hair tie. But I'm gonna start with the product on the sides. Okay. I'm just gonna take both sides down. I am going to Apply the bleach starting at the bottom. Wasn't really expecting that, but okay. Working my way up. We're not gonna do the roots? Okay, so there's one side done. I oh. don't want it to go all the way to the root because I do want a balayage effect. So I'm okay, just gonna- Okay, Miss Hairstylist. <laughs> Coming for my job on my channel. And bring it up as high as I want, but not all the way up. This actually might be kind of a good outcome. Hmm. I'm very interested to see what's gonna happen here. Hmm. Okay, and she's doing the same thing on the top. She is going kind of like halfway, hmm. I don't know, just like not on her roots. I am gonna go a little bit higher. So separating this one. So she wants a kind of like a face frame, she's so she's gonna go a little, little higher in the front. This is very interesting. Higher with that one. She knows what sort of what she's doing. I'm just gonna let it sit for about 20 minutes. Okay, so this is the color after about 30 minutes. 
It does look like it took pretty well, but I do want to apply some heat just to get it a little bit lighter. Every time I do highlight, it looks lighter before I wash off the bleach. What did I say earlier, guys? When I wash off the bleach, it's not as light as I wanted it. What did I say so earlier? I am going to take a blow dryer and apply some heat. I'm going to put the speed on low and let it sit for five minutes on each side. Don't ever blow dry bleach. You're gonna actually make it process less if you blow dry it. What you're gonna do is just dry the bleach out and the way bleach works is when it's moist, it's lifting higher and the moment it dries out, it stops. You putting a dryer on it is not gonna do anything. What we usually do to make bleach process faster and lighter is steam it. That way it keeps the moisture in while heating it up at the same time. You can also put the blow dryer on a very low drier setting. It's only delivering heat and not wind when your hair is in a foil. Sometimes I'll heat up a foil with a blow dryer, but I will put it on the lowest blowing setting um, and the highest heat setting. That way it's not drying out the bleach, it's just heating it up. So doing this is, is actually gonna just stop the bleach from working, so. And it looks like it's already dried out. So that's probably all it's gonna do to her hair. I don't think it's gonna lighten any more than what it is right now. Oh, oh my God. Which what? It looks really pretty. What the hell? Although she should have definitely done like just a few like underneath. But what the hell? It looks so good. Like way too good. I'm upset. Her hair looks amazing. It also looks so much better than it did before. This is what I'm talking about when I when I say dimensional brunette. This is a dimensional brunette. This looks amazing. I love her dark hair. I love her brown hair. I don't think she should ever go blonde. It looks stunning on her. And wow. Okay. I still wouldn't recommend you at home. I, I think she got lucky and that I had good technique, but it looks really good. I'm shook. <laughs> that was surprising, both of those videos. They both came out good. If you're gonna do it at home, just be careful. I feel like by making this video, I just told a bunch of people, probably a million people, that they should do this at home. I still don't think you should. I'm just gonna say that. It didn't look bad. All right, that's all I have for you guys today. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, BrianMondoMYC, and Twitter, and my brand, X Mondo Hair. Check out my new product release, which is Project X, my shampoo and conditioner, my very first shampoo and conditioner. You guys have been loving it. Thank you for the amazing reviews. Could not be happier. Um, and I love seeing all the pictures you guys post of your new shampoo and conditioner and just seeing you guys excited about it makes me so excited. So thank you so much for that. The website's linked below if you'd like to purchase. And that is all for today. Check out my other channel, Brad and Eric, for more content and more behind the scenes of my life. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life. And I will see you all next time. Peace.